Hello and welcome back. So in this one, let's look at how the search feature actually works in MySQL. So let's go to our local host here and I'll be on the products table. Really, it doesn't really matter which table you, you are on. Go to the SQL tab. The important thing is that a database is selected. And here, let's see how exactly we can go about doing a search. So I will open a different tab here for the browse section there so that we can see the content before we try to search for it. So there are a few challenges here we have, but before we look at the challenges, let's determine how to search for stuff. So here, if for example, I want um, to search for something that has meat in it, right? Meat. So how do I do that? So I'm just going to say the query is going to be select all. Now, of course, this all is for the uh, columns to bring back all the columns from this table. Otherwise, here we'll type specific columns like, uh, I don't know if we had name, uh, date, something like this, then those will be the ones returned. But there it's all from the table name, which is products. You don't really need these quotes there. And then we have a where clause. So this is where we look at what column and versus what value to get. So in our case, we are looking for a description. So we say where description. Now you, are, you could be tempted to say is equal to uh, burger like this. I think what I'm looking for is meat. But this won't work so you better use the like and the reason we use like we substitute uh, equals for like because we want to use wildcat so you put a percent there and a percent on the end like so as part of the text so what this means is that for as long as there's meat in the description bring it back so it's going to look at any character this side and any character that side is okay so any number of characters here that are different and any here is all right so if you remove one of them like this it's just going to match something that starts with meat and then it doesn't care what else is this side and of course the opposite is true if you delete this side then it's going to look for a description that ends with meat because this side can have any characters but at the end it should be meat. But if you put it on both sides, it means you really don't care what position the meat ends up at. You're just going to return that value. So let's hit go here and see what we get. So of course we get that. And if you notice it's case insensitive. So let's go back to the inline here, click on edit inline and let's look for burger for example and let's hit go now we have two records that have been returned because as you can see there is burger in both of them regardless uh, whether it's the front or the back it doesn't really matter okay so we have a small challenge in our case here let's say i want to search for the category here so i want to find a particular category and a particular brand. Now the problem is we have numbers here and we don't have the actual category names and brands. They're in a different location. So let me uh, open the categories. Let's start with categories uh, here. So I'll open another tab for the categories. And here we have one category, which is uh, food. So let me come back here for a second. We have meat burger with a category of six. So let me come back here and see which one that is. So meat, of course, the category name is meat. So I wanted to be able to search for a meat category as well. Okay, so an item with a category of meat. So let's come back here and say, so where description Now, before we go there, uh, before we start putting joins here, there's a, let's say you want to search because let me come back here for a second. We're going to have brand names here, right? One brand, two brand. So if 
this can have multiple selections. So I can select several brands here. So how do I search when it comes to that? Let me come back here. Because otherwise I would have to say where brand, for example, brand like. Now those brand names are actually very specific. So I can put an equal sign instead to speed up the search because this kind of searching is very slow. So if you can get away with an equal sign without those wildcards, do it that way. It's faster. So here it's going to be where brand is equal to, and I look for a particular brand here. Now, what if there are multiple brands? You could do it like and say where brand is equal to burger, or let's use the actual or here, or brand is equal to, and then you add another brand like this. This would definitely work. But there's a, a, a different way to do it. You can say, you can create something that looks like an array instead. So what you can do instead is this. So let's go and see how many of these we have. So uh, here I have uh, food. Let's try food, drinks, and sodas. So let me come back here. So let's change this to brands for a second so that we don't have to use a join. So select all from brands where brand, now instead of saying equals, we can say in like so, and then put some brackets over our data. Let me just use single quotes here, like so. So the idea is you can do this. You say where brand in, uh, where are the brand names anyway? Actually, let's go to category while we uh, categories like so where category since we already have categories there uh, there's food drinks and sodas so let's try food here food like this so select your from category where category in food like that so not equals but in so let's see whether we'll get a result here and you see we do get a result there so let me edit inline again so the advantage of doing it this way is i can do something like this i can put a comma and add another item here which is let's say drinks like so and go on sodas like that i forgot the opening here so in this way you can search for multiple items so let me see it go and you see all of them show up here which is awesome. So that's what we're going to use for this section here where we select many brands and we're going to do it that way. Okay. And then here on the text, we're going to use the like and use the wildcards. And then here, uh, category, since we can only select one category at a time, we're going to use an equal sign. All right. So let's go back to, let's go to the price and quantity where there's a range of data between this and that and see how we're going to use that. But before we do this, uh, let's try the year. So how are we going to get a year here? So let me come back here and let's do a test, shall we? Edit in line. So I will go to categories. Categories don't have a date, so that's a bummer. But we can come back here to uh, these guys, the products. So as you can see here, there's a year 2021, all of them are in 2021, and there's a month and there's a day. So how do we search for a very particular either year, month, or day? So let's come back here and put that to the test. So I'll say products, like that, select all from products, where description, since that's the, no, actually where date is equal to, And then let's give a particular date here. I want it to be 2021. Okay. Now, of course, we're going to have a problem. You could be tempted to use the like, like so. It could work. And you can put the wildcard there. Let's see how that uh, works. And as you can see, it has returned all the records because uh, that actually works. But I think a proper way to do it, which may be faster, I'm not really sure about performance, 
is to put a year here and say year like that is equal to like so go okay so we get all the results here as well edit inline so the advantage of doing it this way is because it's going to determine what the year is because it knows the date format here and you don't know the date format so if you use the wildcards uh, maybe somebody is saving the date the year at the end here so you may have problems so same thing the way we've done this we can say month like so and uh, what month do we have here we have zero three let's try that zero three go okay so we get the same thing and of course you can guess by now that we can use day as well in the same way let me come back here and where are the others i want to look for all the uh yeah so you see there are three of these with one month here the other ones are six here so let's look at day 16 right so come back here move back eared it in line and 16 day go okay so now you have seen how to yeah so you see those are on day 16 great so this is how you search using the date so we've done this we've done that we've done this and that so the only thing remaining is a range between this so how do we search for a range so to search for a, a range we use the keyword between so for example we have uh, some quantities here there is quantity 100 uh, eight nine six okay so we have a good range here so let me try one to eight so here I can say where quantity between between one and eight like that so go okay so as you can see there's quantity eight there's quantity six but not more than that so let's try a different number let's see um, between 20 and uh, what happens when we do this though I've never tried that so I guess we just don't get a result let's put 100 there yeah so we have one with a quantity of 100 so you can see how uh, searching for these things is actually quite easy so let me try if I lower it like this okay so you better make sure that uh, the the big one is on the other side the small one is here and then it also keep in mind that it also includes the the value that you've added so if for example I say between 8 and 100 and hit go here you see that the quantity 8 is included as well as 100 Okay, so, so far so good. We've seen how to search for all that. But what about if we need to combine the searches? So I want to search for a particular brand with a particular category. Oh, let's start with just a brand. So let's come back here and I'll edit in line for a second here. So what I want to do is look for an item with a particular brand. So here, uh, yes so category there let's go to category because that's what I have here so let me look at category food so what I want is to get the result of the product okay but at the same time I want to search inside the category because here as you can see the category is one so it's equal to like uh, searching this particular table but instead of having to rely on this number, I'm going to get the value from the other table. So like we saw in a previous, um, or did I show it in this series? I have no idea. So what we can do is we can say select all, uh, 
Now I want to join two tables. So select all from products without this where clause here. And then I'm just going to tell it to join uh, the categories table. Select all from products, join categories. Now, when you join, you have to tell it where you want to join those two on. So we're going to say categories on. So two, um, two sections here, the category here and the ID on the other side, because this category here represents an ID here. So this is categories.id and categories dot uh, and products dot category should match so simple like that you can say uh, products dot category uh, is equal to uh, categories dot id so you join those two on that basis this is not a where clause this is just telling uh, the MySQL where to join the tables, which table, uh, which row should match which row on both tables because these are two tables. This is not a where clause. So once we've done that, we can actually join more than this. So I want to also join brands. So I can just say join after that, join brands on. So which section am I joining the brand here? So I'm doing the same thing where products dot brands. Let's see if that will work. Uh, products dot brand is equal to brands dot ID. OK, so let's hit go here and see what we get. So as you can see, we do get a good result here. Uh, what you will notice is that though this is very small, but I'm sure you, if you are trying this on your own uh, PC, you will notice this, that all three tables have been returned. This is the products, category, and brands table. And we have these lined up. The ID of the category is lining up with the category on the products table. And also the brand here is lining up. So hopefully you can see that uh, things are lining up as they should. Let me edit this a bit and reduce what we are bringing back. So here on the products table, I just want to bring a products dot description. That's all I want. I want to reduce my uh, result. And then also I want to bring a brands dot brand and then a category categories dot category like that. So these are the only columns I want. So if I hit go this time, you see that I have only three columns. So I have the description and its brand and its category here. So hopefully this helps you to understand what we're going to be doing uh, in this case. But let's see if we want a where clause here as well. So let's say I want uh, where the brand is either this one and this one. So let's try Ron Hill and Toyota. So here we can easily add a where clause at the very end. Just say where uh, brand, that's brands dot brand is equal to Toyota. Or let's just do in, like in, and then let's do Toyota comma and then let's say Ron Hill like that okay great let's hit go and as you can see we've returned Ron Hill Toyota with its proper category here and its proper description so hopefully uh, this helps you to see what we're going to be creating to get a bigger picture of the situation so all we need to do when somebody hits the search bar is to generate a query like this so all that mambo jumbo will be doing is just an attempt to create this particular query here and keep in mind you can always search for different categories as well just by putting or and you add category equal to and so on and so forth okay so hopefully uh, this has given you uh, something new to think about and i will see you in the next video